Alright guys, this is my 2012 Toro T-Bar walk behind. Uh, oh, 2011. Sorry. Uh, this is my 3,000 hour review. I never thought I'd make a 3,000 hour review on a walk behind. Uh, only problems I had with it is the deck rusting just a little bit. Not much. And... The front caster wheels, the bearings locking up, and bad transmissions and belts, which is going to happen. You replace a transmission about every thousand hours, and this is on its third transmission. Uh, never had any fuses blow. Never had any problems with the key. Uh, no, the throttle, if you throttle it up all the way, it'll work its way backwards because it's got a bad spring. So I just use a little piece of rope. Had no problem at a choke cable at all. Um, it's a five speed, one, two, three, or five neutral reverse, and you're not supposed to use reverse. It's bad for the mower and the belts. The belts will slip, come off of this, and slip up and get back in here and get caught. And it's just a pain to undo. It's got the Kawasaki. FS 48-1V. Uh, I also had one other problem. The exhaust shield. Uh, it, it clips in right there and there. And it broke off. Uh, so, you know, whatever. Gas tank never had a problem with the lid. Uh, it stays sealed. Never had any gas leak out of it. Uh, it's a commercial mower. The hour meter was here. That's how I knew it had 3,000. And the hour meter stopped working. I got a picture of it at 2700, but that was three years ago, so I know it's at least got 3,000, maybe close to 4,000. Uh, it's an awesome mower. I would, I would uh, suggest this mower for any starter. 3,000 hours that that's gonna be hard to come by uh, on a mower. I, I've really never watched a 3,000 hour review on YouTube, and so, uh, the guy I bought this from, I actually worked for him, and I know what this mower's been through, I know it's been through hell, uh, I know he tortured it, you know, that didn't stop me from buying it, because I'm gonna take care of it, and I know he changed the oil, he just made it cut tall stuff, and it had a mulch kit on it, but I took it off, because I hate mulch kits. Uh, mulch kits are no good, and I change the oil all the time. This thing burns oil all the time. Uh, you see the oil old it straight. It's perfectly clean. Uh, I hate how the wheels ru have rusted out. Get some new paint and paint those suckers. They're ugly. Uh, 2012, no, 2014 walk behinds, they changed the color to gray, if you haven't already seen. This is an old one. And to get to your belt, you take that cover off, then you're down to this, and then you, I don't know what kind of grass is up under here, I just washed this thing off to make my video. Uh, let's see. There, and then. I don't know, these things are a pain and you can get to your belt. I don't feel like taking this thing all the way off. Uh, but, you know, some people I've seen them run them with just, uh, the, I'll put that back together in a minute. Put the, run it without that on there. But, never had to change spark plugs. I've only cleaned them. Uh, never had any carburetor problems. Air filters clean as a whistle. Uh, recoils sometimes go out. Not the spring. Just the rope frays and breaks. And I'll start it up for y'all. Y'all can hear how it runs and idles.
watch how the cable how it idles down. After a long, after 10 minutes of mowing, it starts to vibrate backwards and shake backwards. And then, like, I have this little rope deal here where I go like this, take the rope, uh, see if I, my stupid self can't get this up. And then I hook it on there and it holds it, holds it down. So, then I, see if I can't get this back together. There we go. And then those clips I never had a problem with. As you can see, that's melted. Little crack. Nobody notices. I'm about to sell this thing to buy a truck. My first truck. Uh, I'm going to sell it for $1,500. Bought it for $1,000. I've already had tons of people ask me about it. Of course, they don't know how many hours it has. But, you know, I'm not going to cheat anybody. I'll, I'm not going to tell them it has 3,000 hours. But I have told them it's been used commercially. So... Normally when you buy a mower and it's been used commercially, you know what you're getting if you're not stupid. Uh, but here's, here's what it looks like. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't.